Okay, so this is going to be a real quick tutorial on how to set up lists and attach them to your ClickFunnels account. So every ClickFunnels account or every ClickFunnel that you you set up, uh, you want to have a separate list for. So that way you can either promote to them all at the same time for something that you're doing, or promote to each individual list separately. So if you have somebody that's opted into a jujitsu thing, you can message them. If you have somebody that opted into a birthday or a coloring page, you can send them some different information. So let's go ahead and jump in. So we're going to go into Aweber first, and we're going to create a new list. So go ahead and click. Uh, let me open this up. Manage lists up at the top is going to take you to all of the lists that you have. And if you're just starting in Aweber, you probably don't have any lists. So just click Manage Lists, and then right here, click Create. And it should have all of your information already pre-populated in here. If it doesn't, just go ahead and put your info in, and then click Next Step. Right here, you're going to name your list. We're going to put test for coloring pages. And then down here, you want to tell people why they're getting your email, and that's because they opted in to get coloring pages. But you also want to put in there that they may uh, get additional promotional material, and whatever, however you want to put it. So put in here that they're getting this email because they requested coloring pages and they may also get additional material for promotions and events and activities at our facility, something like that. So that way you can, you can always promote to them and they know why they're getting those emails. Then just click next step. All of this is pretty much set. You don't have to do anything with it really. Uh, approve message and create list. Okay, so now we have that list set up. So when we go into manage lists, you will not see it, I don't think. You shouldn't see it in here. Oh yeah, it is right there, test for coloring pages. So uh, what we want to do is we want to click on this. There's one more thing that we want to do. Go to confirmed opt-ins, and we want to turn this off. So we click on confirmed opt-ins, and what that does is it takes away, it takes away the need for somebody to have to go in and confirm the email and or, or confirm the subscription in order to get the material you just lose people when you do that so just go here and turn this off hit yes click save settings and then you may also you may also have to call a Weber to make sure that they turn the automatic confirmation emails off for all of your forms I had to do that it started off okay and it was going through okay they weren't having to confirm it but then it went back so sometimes you have to call a Weber so now we have the list uh, all set up so now what we need to do is we need to make a form so let me bounce over here and let me show you real quick we're just opening up this coloring page right here and as you can see here it says enter your best email dot 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 all of the first letters are all capitalized we want to put the exactly what we have in here and if we wanted to change that of course we could by clicking on the little gear icon and we might instead of saying enter your best email we might want to put put your email here just make sure whatever you put here inside this box is the same thing that we have over here in our Aweber so we have enter your best email dot 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 okay alright so we'll get to that in just a second we're gonna save settings okay we're all good so now go into sign up forms okay this is where that's gonna come into play so create your first sign up form even though we're not going to use the form off of Aweber uh, we still need to create it so we're gonna delete the name because we don't have that we don't have that here on our opt-in we just have the email and it says enter your best email dot 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 so I'm gonna delete that and then in here it's gonna say underneath the value enter your best email dot 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 and then save the field save form and go to step number two name the form test for coloring sheets hit save go to step three and you're pretty much done okay so now the form is set up the list is set up in Aweber now when it comes to creating the message or right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on messages and we're gonna create a new message as you can see we have no messages here no drafts for test coloring pages and always look up here at your current list make sure when you're creating 
emails that go out it's for the correct list so you'll find that right there so just click the green button and we'll just drag and drop email builder right over here you can just drag these over into this set this field right here so if we want to put a headline we just drag that over and then we can put something there um, delete it if we don't want it let's say I want to put an image I click my image and then I drag that over here and then let's say I want to put my logo so I'll just go upload an image it's always good to have your logo like right on the top or something like that let me go find it real quick All right, so I'm going to grab my logo, pops right in, and then we can put our text in here. And, you know, thanks for requesting. The, and I'm not going to get I'm not going to get detail here. Pages. So, you can you can go in here and you can spice this up and, you know, put some additional copy and things like that in here. Um, but then you might want to consider putting a button down here and then connecting that button to your website or whatever offer like if you have a trial or something wherever that whatever that domain is that your that your offer is on um, you know add a button down here and then you know maybe up at the top you know click below for uh, a six week special whatever. So you can go in here and put whatever you want. Just make it look good. Take a few minutes to design this because it's going to be the, the it's going to go out automatically. And once it's done, it's done. You don't have to do anything else. So we're going to save this, and then we're going to exit. I think it's pretty well. You can actually. Uh, oh wait, I'm sorry. You got to put your uh, your subject line in. So we'll just put coloring pages. You can put karate. Here are your karate coloring pages or whatever you want. And we're going to preview and test so we can send a test email here um, that way you can make sure that it's that it's going to you so after you click that you can just go to your email to make sure that it just came up so looks like we're good there and here it is right there so as you can see right there this is not what it should look like but I mean you want to put some more time into it but you get the idea so you know that it's working now um, we're gonna put save and exit okay so that's pretty much all we need to do within Aweber just a real quick review uh, manage list you're gonna create a list right here which we did uh, down at the bottom the um, the color the tester for coloring coloring pages and then you're gonna go in here and create a sign up form and then you're gonna create your message so now my message right here as you can see is in draft mode so what I want to do under send options I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna put add to follow-up series so I hit add to follow-up series and right now it is actually let me back up a little schedule broadcast as you can see this is gonna send immediately if I wanted to edit it and send it different time I could always do that but I wanted to go out right away so send options add to follow-up series add to follow-up series so it's now adding it and then as you create as you create more emails you might want another email to go out in a few days you know or a week or two weeks or three weeks or whatever you can create them and then schedule them for when you want them to go out so right now this is what we have it goes out send it sends immediately so as soon as somebody opts in they should automatically get that get that email um, what we didn't do what we didn't do is actually attach the um, the coloring sheet <laughs> so that's that's kind of important so let's go back down at the bottom this is where you put your attachments so you just click on that and uh, uh, let me see what did I name those After I download whatever coloring pages I want to send out you just go into your computer and you choose it hit choose and then down here it's added that to your email and now we will save it there we go and then we can exit so however many you want to add you'll just keep on adding those and uh, it'll be attached to the email and that's what they'll get 
All right, so now that's all we need to do in AWeber. Let's go ahead and jump back over to our click funnel and let me get out and all right so right here so once you're in your funnel just click edit page and then go right here to this email section and click on the gear icon make sure it says email address here and make sure the placeholder text is the same that you put in Aweber nothing else needs to change so you're good now this is where we're going to integrate it this is where we're going to connect it so we're going to go to integrations and as you can see each funnel that you set up you'll have to do this for so as you can see it's not connected so we're going to select an integration which will be a Weber the action is going to be integrate with an existing form so remember when we set up the form earlier that's what we're going to connect it to always refresh the list go in and open it up and then it was test for coloring pages right so now that is connected we're going to go in here and click save that's how fast and easy it is once we have the list and the form set up in Aweber um, you can always go back and, and create your emails that you want to go out but you might as well just knock out that first one when you're in there so now let's go and test this thing to make sure everything is working so we're going to go to preview and don't test it in preview mode actually so what we'll do is we'll, we're going to get out of here and we are going to copy the URL and uh, let's open it up and let's go into a different browser and open it up so we're going to do it in a, a new window all right all right we're going to open this up so let's go ahead and put an email in. I think I may have already put this one in, but let's see if it goes through. Send me the coloring pages. All right, so now it pops me right over here into. Hey, I just wanted to take a real quick second to thank you for downloading our free. Into our thank you page. Okay, so since I put my email in, oh, there they are. So I just got the confirmation email. There it is. It shows a picture of what they're gonna get. And there was the button that we added. This is the generic looking email that we created. By all means, make it look better than that. And then right up here, they, uh, they can download the actual image. So they would just click on that, they would download right to their computer, and they would print it out, bing, bang, boom, and then they got it. So that's pretty much it. Easy peasy. So if we go back over here and we go into subscribers, you should be able to see there's the subscribe subscription that we just put in. My kids karate school at gmail.com. So this is where all of your subscribers will be added. And anytime you want to send a message to all of these people, whether it's just something you do on the fly or whether it's something that you uh, set up beforehand, just go right up into messages and legacy follow up series. Click on that. We're going to create a message and we're going to go through the same process that we went through before. You just create it and then you decide when you want it to go out. So I hope this helps. If, uh, if you need any uh, more assistance, let me know. Uh, go back and watch us a couple times. Get used to practicing putting these in and creating them for each one of your funnels. And you'll be knocking them out in just a couple of seconds. Uh, it doesn't take long at all. So we'll see you.